Hello, hello, welcome back, and today I'm reviewing different brands of nail art stripers. I will be covering the pigmentation of each brand, as well as how thick the brushes are, which is best for precision, which one lasts the longest, and what troubles I see within each brand. So let's dive in. The first one is Kiss Nail Art. The issue with this one is the opacity. They're very sheer and yes, they have beautiful colors as you can see here. I only took out a couple of examples from each one except for this one, I only have one Art Deco. And that is the main problem I have. In terms of the price point, I really love the price point, very affordable. However, I did struggle with that. Moving on uh, to Stripe Right, this is my favorite so far. From what I've tried as the precision of the brushes is actually insane the opacity is beautiful and I really like that you're able to do a lot of details with these as soon as you lay down the brush onto the nail it's complete pigmentation there's no sheerness the only issue I have with this one is that it is pricey it is expensive I did buy them through Sally However, I'm sure that you can find a discounted price through somewhere else as these I believe retail for about $4 each, which is on the pricier side, but they're well worth it in my opinion. As for Art Deco, I had an issue with this one drying out. It is still able to work as I keep adding nail thinner, however that bothers me. The pigmentation for this one is great, I really love that, and I love the affordability. So if you are unable to spend a lot of money on this, I recommend these brands as yes, you'll probably need a nail polish thinner, oops, but it is great for the price point and the brush isn't bad at all. As for the one I have the most of, Shaney, I have 25 of these. I bought these off of Amazon, I believe, and the brushes are the same as Art Deco, so I'm not gonna show you. However, the pigmentation ranges. For the creams, they're very, very opaque. As for the glitter, I had a huge problem as all the glitters started to clump up, and it's really hard to even open up. So this is the brush, <laughs> and as you can see, you cannot put that on yourself or a client's nail. It's just not working, and I only kept on to these so I can show you how much uh, they dry out, which is, it sucks because the glitters are beautiful, but they only last you a couple years, which if you're doing nail art very often is a good purchase. Otherwise, I'd skip out on it. These are probably the cheapest because you can only buy these through bulk. And that's the best way how to purchase stripers, especially if you want a huge range. However, the opacity, I had no issue with that. Overall, I do recommend uh, Stripe Right the best because of the opacity, the payoff. It's always consistent with providing precise movement and there's never clumping up at the top of the brush, which is really nice. So these are on the higher end, however, I would say try to save your money and see if you can get discounted price points for this one. Other than that, these two are great. The pigmentation for this is eh, so. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll see you guys later. Bye.